I call, for you will surely heed me. O oh God, turn your ear to me, hear my words, guard me as the apple of your eye, in the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. My friends, the Church Universal today remembers us Pope, who is a saint, is John Paul II, uh, who was uh, the Pope for about almost 25 years, and he died in the year 2005. And so we remember him today for his uh, courageous modeling of what it means to be uh, an engaging and forgiving person when great injury was done to him, a model for us. Let us be aware of any ways that we carry grudges within us rather than seeking to resolve them uh, creatively. We acknowledge that as we turn to the Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede always in our behalf. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who are rich in mercy, and who will that St. John Paul II should preside as Pope over your church, grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching and example, we may open our hearts to the saving grace of Jesus Christ, the sole redeemer of humankind, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven on earth is named that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine by the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus, to all generations forever and ever, amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The, the earth, earth is full of the goodness, of the, goodness of, the of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The, the earth, earth is full of the goodness of the, of the Lord. Lord. For upright is the, is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right of the kindness of the Lord. The earth is full. The earth, the earth is, is full, full of, the of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth, the earth is, is full, full of the goodness, goodness of, the of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The Lord the earth is, is full, full of the goodness, goodness of, of the Lord. Lord. <clears throat> Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I consider all things so much rubbish 
that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? I tell you, no, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That was a long time ago in 1978 that uh, this rather still young uh, bishop uh, was elected to be the, the pope. He took the name of John Paul II, and he was Pope from 1978 to 2005. Uh, He was Pope only in Rome. You know, the Pope frequently gives a public audience a talk out in the great, 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 great big space in front of St. Peter. It's a basilica. And uh, he, so he gave his talk, and he spoke in several different languages, and then there's singing and all sorts of, it's very, very festive. Thousands and thousands of people gather there. And then at the end uh, of this, uh, he gets in what's called a, the Pope Mobile. It's a small, like a, a vehicle, but has no top on it. And he stands in there, and it just goes all the way up the side aisle and down the center aisle. And it takes quite a while because he stops and blesses people, and mothers bring their children and babies up to be blessed, and so on and so on. So it's a great uh, kind of close in encounter. Uh, with the Pope, who always seemed to be, for so many uh, centuries, a very, very removed uh, figure, but he comes right down into the people. Well, it was on the 13th of May in 1981, when he was uh, Pope five years, uh, that a young man stepped forward and, and pump, had a big pistol and pumped three bullets uh, into the Pope, who immediately collapsed. And, of course, people rushed around to assist the Pope, and others uh, restrained the the man who shot him. Four bullets uh, were in his body. He was taken quickly to the hospital, and through good medical intervention, uh, he survived and uh, recovered. In the meantime, the man who tried to kill him, a man from Turkey, uh, was taken uh, not only to jail, but to, to court, and he was sentenced to a lifetime imprisonment. The Pope recovered, uh, uh, and when he had his full health back, was able to, to move around easily and safely, one of the first things that John Paul II did was to go to the jail and to go into the cell where this man it was confined, and each sat at chairs right close to each other, not through any kind of divider, very physically present to each other. And there's some lovely photographs of that, that encounter. And, and, and the re- reason that the Pope went there was not to, to say, ha, 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 now you see what happened to you. You know, I'm alive and free, and you're going to spend the rest of your life in here and just hound the man. That's what, what many people would do, say, that guy has it coming to him. That's not what the Pope did. Uh, what the Pope did was to very explicitly say, 
I forgive you. You can't say, well, it's not a big deal. It was a big deal. You can't just say, oh, let's forget it. No, you can't forget something like that if somebody tries to kill you. But you can have a hard heart toward that person for the rest of your life, or you can forgive that person and find a peace within you and allow that person to have peace as well. And so uh, that's what the Pope did. And, and then uh, he was able to talk to the authorities and eventually uh, the man was uh, released from jail, didn't have to serve a lifetime imprisonment, and went back to his home country. So th to me, it's, uh, it's uh, a great, great example. It's not very helpful simply to admire the Pope and to say, well, I could never do that. Well, how do we know we can't do that? Because uh, we do have the ability to be authentically forgiving, not just a formal forgiveness like, okay, we'll forget it, you know. And then you walk away and let the person know that he or she did wrong and I, I'm going to remember this. So just, uh, but uh, to actually engage the person uh, and to uh, be striking up a relationship which they communicated uh, through mail uh, and kept that relationship going. And so uh, later on, the man was, was released. And as the years passed, uh, the Pope himself you know, was elderly and getting frail and coming closer to death. And, and that man whose life he had uh, healed, actually, uh, wrote some beautiful uh, letters to him uh, of appreciation admiration. Now, what does it mean for us is this, I believe, <laughs> that we could say, well, we'll just set this aside and kind of forget about it, but you can't forget a serious wrong that's done. Uh, or we could just say, that's it, we're finished forever. Those are some, some ways to respond. Uh, but the heroic way not to say that it's always possible, but the heroic way, the saintly way, the way of the Lord is to not only say, well, I'll forgive the person when that person comes seeking forgiveness, but rather even to take the first step and to be the provocateur, saying, well, I, I'm going to go to that person and talk to that person and do what I can to bring healing bring healing. We can't undo the past. We can reframe the past and have it be a guide for our future. And that is what makes, uh, gives it an example of why we call this particular pope uh, a saint. For the, the courage of his example and the teaching model that he has given to all of us and that model can be an instructor for us to how we engage others as individuals, as a nation, as a corporation, as a family, as whatever, uh, the possibility of forgiveness and healing is within us. It is the Lord's gift to us and to be employed uh, when there is reason to, to employ it. Now we lift up a few of our many, many concerns for the welfare of God's people uh, here and everywhere. For missionaries throughout the world who suffer persecution, may the Lord grant them courage and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For people who wield political, military, or monetary power, may the Holy Spirit direct them in the ways of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live daily with the threat of war or other forms of violence, may God deliver them and bring peace to their lands. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are held captive by their addictions, may they find recovery and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For safety during the pandemic, healing for those suffering, from it in wisdom for all researchers working on remedies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
For all of the faithful who have died, especially Linda Donner, Michael Burke, Patrick Lynch, Judith, Judith Kitzmiller, John Hamilton, and Alice Talbot, may they rest in Jesus' arms for all of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise for hearing these and all the prayers of intercession that we trustingly lift up to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given us and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, of all creation, and through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my sins and cleanse me from my iniquity. And now let us pray that this offering of ours may indeed be pleasing and acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who made blessed John Paul the vicar of Peter and committed to him the care of the universal church, by his intercession, keep your beloved flock ever safe so that with integrity of faith and perfect charity, your church may journey to her heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, a mighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Paul, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And to all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father, who who art in in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. That peace which is God's gift to us, we extend one to another. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we, for beyond this altar table, we are called to the banquet table of heaven. Lord, I am not not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but but only only say the the word, and my soul soul shall be be healed. the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received 
O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed John Paul burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And my God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Praise be to God. Thank you.